Today we're in Delta, BC, touring a 26-foot tiny home built specifically for the short-term rental market. Let's check this thing out. Welcome to the newest tiny home built by Mint Tiny House Company here in BC. What I'm currently standing in is an eight and a half foot wide by 26 foot long tiny home that was built specifically for the short term rental market. So things like Airbnb, VRBO, or anybody who wants a tiny home to rent out short term for a side hustle. You might be thinking, what does that mean? How is it purpose built for short term rentals? I'll show you. But first, let's take a look at the outside. The exterior paneling of the tiny home is called LP Smart Siding. What that is, is it's a wood fiber board and it's a much better material than concrete when it comes to expanding and contracting in different climates. Like I said before, the total length of the tiny home is 26 feet and it's eight and a half feet wide. It has a really nice metal duraclad roof and sits on tandem axles. At the front of the home, you can find two 110 volt outlets and around back, again, you can find two more. You have a spot for your cable input. You have fresh water fill up. One of my favorite parts about this tiny home is really just the color on the exterior. It's a really light gray shade and then they've contrasted it really well with the white window casings around the entire home, which really gives it a nice, bright and airy aesthetic. All of the windows you see on the tiny home are gonna be dual pane as well. If you're way up north where it gets super cold or down south where it gets really warm, either way, those windows are gonna help control the temperature inside really well. As we approach the front of the home, the front door has a really nice large dual pane window so you can see inside and out. Now obviously if you want some more privacy, you can outfit a little shade that will drop over the window so no one can see inside. Now when you first walk into the interior, you're gonna be stepping directly into the living room. With the tiny home I'm sitting in today, they've already staged it, so it's gonna give you an idea of what it could actually look like once you purchase it. But what they've done is they've put a nice little reading chair in the corner. Obviously you can put a couch in here, a little coffee table, and then you can also mount a TV on the wall. Something that's super important to keep in mind when you're building your tiny home is to make the space feel bigger than it really is. And there's a couple ways you can do that. One is keep the colors inside and outside really bright. The brighter the colors, the lighter it feels and the bigger the space will appear. Number two is windows. The more windows you have and the more natural light you have coming into the home makes a huge difference to how it feels inside. And of course, number three is just simply the layout. The better the layout is and the more functional it is, the more space you're gonna feel you have. And I think they've done a really good job with each of those things. Now, directly past the living room, you're gonna enter the kitchen. And on the right-hand side, you have this really cool bar table where you're gonna be able to seat two, which looks directly out this window. So not only do you have plenty of space to dine, but you also get a really nice view while you're dining. As we move forward into the tiny home, now we find ourselves in the kitchen. And this is where you're gonna start to see how the home is purpose-built for short-term rentals. And I'll point out a couple things right now. The first thing I'll point out is that it's got an electric hot water tank. Next is that it's got an electric induction stovetop and it's got this little mini fridge here on the floor. Now the reason they're using electric only appliances is because when you have a short term rental, you wanna keep it as simple and safe as possible. Now when you add an element like propane, that's something that could be misused and could cause damage to your investment. Because unfortunately, not everyone is super intelligent and when you have an open flame in a small space, things could go sideways. The appliances are really safe. The fridge is small, so you're not gonna be packing a ton of food for a long period of time. And that really does make it super attractive for someone who wants to rent something like this out. Now, despite the tiny home being only 26 feet, the kitchen actually has a ton of counter space. You can see there's plenty of counter space on either side of the sink and beside the stovetop. One of my favorite features about the Mint Tiny House Company builds is they always try to include a window above the kitchen sink. I think it's super important if you're spending time in the kitchen, it's always nice to have a view of your surroundings outside. Now the kitchen sink is another thing to talk about. It's porcelain and it's huge. I love the farmhouse aesthetic. Above the stovetop, you also have a Furion range to take any of the fumes from your cooking and if you're like me and you burn everything that's super important to have across from the kitchen counter you can see here that you have the small fridge I was talking about 
Above that, you do have a countertop as well. Currently in the tiny home, they have a microwave sitting on here, but if you wanted to remove that and put something else there, like a wine rack or some other form of storage, you can of course do that as well. Right next to this area is the pantry space. And this really is a ton of pantry space. Think about the size of home you're in and how long you're gonna be staying in here. With that amount of space, there's really no room for argument about that being too little. Now, another thing to remember about these tiny homes is they're built with two by four framing. And what that allows you to do is if you see the need for mounting upper cabinetry onto the wall, because the walls are built from two by four framing, they are a structural component to the house. So if you wanted to add either exposed shelves or actual cabinetry, you can actually do that in one of these tiny homes. Now between those two by four studs in the walls, one thing I'll mention is that they also do a spray foam insulation. The benefit of having a spray foam insulation over a block foam insulation is that a spray foam insulation will allow for no air gaps whatsoever, which results in a higher R value and way less energy loss in your tiny home. All of these pre-installed cabinets in the tiny homes built by Mint have soft close hinges as well. It's not necessary, but it's really nice. Just under the kitchen counter, of course, you have plenty of lower cabinets as well. Furthest to our left, it's a little bit deceiving. When you open these cabinet doors, that's where you're gonna find your electric water heater. It's easy to find and it's easy to get at if you do need to do maintenance. Next, of course, is the cabinet under the sink itself. Here, you're gonna have plenty of room to put any sort of additional supplies that you might need. And then moving further over to the inductive cooktop, beneath here, you're gonna find drawers that slide out, cabinets that open up, and you'll find your main battery shut off and the fuse box for the tiny home. Overall, I think this kitchen has absolutely everything you need. Even if you were living in this for a longer period of time, I think there's enough prep space, storage space and appliances to get the job done while you're living in something like this. Finally, at the very back of the home, you get the bathroom. Off to the left-hand side, you're gonna have a spot for your washer dryer combo unit. That will sit beneath this counter, and I love the fact that they've added this counter. That just creates an additional storage space or a spot to fold laundry or whatever you need. Just past the laundry, they've installed a really nice one-piece fiberglass shower. I'm six foot four, and I fit in there with no issues whatsoever. Then, of course, you get your vanity, you get a little bit of storage, a mirror above it, and of course a toilet in the corner. And the toilet is a porcelain toilet, so it's actually nice to sit on. For heating and cooling, they actually have two different forms within the tiny house here. First is electric heating in the wall. So you'll notice throughout the house they have electric heat registers that are mounted on the side of the wall. And the second source is most of these homes are actually outfitted with a mini split heating and cooling system. Basically what that means is this little box up here mounted on the wall is going to be able to push out heat and air conditioning depending on what season you're in. Now obviously as you've seen throughout this video there's a couple more things we have to go over and those are the two lofts that this house comes with. The first loft is above the living space and that's accessible by this ladder. As you get up here in the first loft you're gonna have plenty of windows that open and close and you can add blinds to just in case you need to block out the light. Because the roof is pitched in the center of the ceiling you're gonna have the most height but again this is a loft you're not gonna be standing up here and you're not gonna be spending much time other than sleeping up here. I would say in this first loft, you might be able to squeeze a queen bed in here, but it looks more like a single or a double would fit better. You do have one 10 volt outlets up here as well. Once you're back down from the first loft, you'll notice that the second loft is located just beside the kitchen. Now this loft will act as your master bedroom, if you will. Up here, now it's more likely that you can fit a king or a queen size bed. You even have storage as well against the front wall, and it really is just a super cozy place to crawl up to and sleep, have a nap or just chill out. The overall aesthetic of this home is super nice. They've kept the floors a nice light brown, the walls are a really bright white, and all of the accent colors in here are either a black or a light brown, which gives this home a really nice beachy, airy, open vibe. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you liked this tour of the 26 foot tiny home. I truly believe this is one of the best floor plans if you are looking for a short term rental. I know there's gonna be some of you that are probably uncomfortable with the loft style design, and it just might be that it's inaccessible for you. And for you, I have great news. Mint will also be building a 30 foot floor plan with the same style and layout, but you will have a main floor bedroom as well. So that will be for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That makes a huge difference for me. Once again, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.